good one in it. This is the compressor that I borrowed. It's eight gallons. It'll do about three rivets and then it's done. This is the compressor I just bought. It's 20 gallons. And so far, it keeps up and I can do all the rivets I want. Yay. So I think today's lesson is the right tool makes everything easier. I've got the 20 gallon compressor. I got this new uh, this new bit that I have sharpened down to a fairly good edge. It's not exactly sharp. I blunted the tip of it a little bit so it wouldn't chip. And I've got a compressor I can crank up to 90 PSI. And I can go at it as long as I want to because it keeps up. That's an improvement. Bought a new extension cord that's 12 gauge. Bring me a little better, a little better angry pixies. And it goes a little something like this. This job is done. Yes. Next job. I'm going to take these running panels, these bumper guard thingies off. Because I want the bus to be smooth. I want the bus to be smooth and when Nick paints it, he won't have to worry about all this stuff. I might come back later and put a an accent piece of wood or something at some point. But I'm gonna punch these rivets in. Mainly to give my drill bit a spot to center on.
Okay. Hey, catch you all up close. Oh, the new best practice goes like this. The problem with these rivets in the middle is that they, they spin. So if I take my, my pry bar and put it in there so it can't spin. Easy peasy. Could you see that because my hand's in the way? Yep. Try that. So same thing. I'll put my... Work my pry bar in there so that it can't spin. And then... Easy peasy. That's that. Got to do the other side. Whew. It's been a pretty good day. I went and I bought me a uh, 20 gallon compressor. That made a world of difference. I got all the remaining panels out of the ceiling without too much, too much trouble. And I've come out here and cleaned up the side of the bus to get these rub rails off. That's good. I got one little short one here to finish on this side. And I might call it a day. I might go in and work on my floor plan. That seems like a thing I ought to have figured out by now, doesn't it? All right, well. I feel better now. I was feeling pretty useless there. Doing two or three rivets and then sitting down waiting for my tools to get back ready to go. Struggling. I was struggling. But they tell you the right tool. And they're right. Don't try to get away without it. Huh. All right. That's it for today. Well, I was just here sitting in my bus, like you do, resting up before I head back into the house. And I got to looking around. I noticed that, uh, let me flip this around. I've got my first aid kit which I used yesterday. And then I've got my little road flare marker thingies so I can tell people I'm on the side of the road. And then I had a thing back there that I thought was cleaning fluid for your body parts or something like if you got grease or something working on the truck. And then I got to looking at it today and no, that is body fluid cleanup. Apparently if I have an excess of body fluids in my bus, I've got a kit for that. That was not intentional. I've got a kit for that. If I, I guess if I go insane and drag somebody in my bus and chop them up little pieces and then I've got body fluids all over the bus, not a problem. I've got a kit for that. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Body fluid. Clean up. I guess I'm happy to see that the seal is still on the box. Hopefully they didn't use it in here. <laughs>